students, what are some of the mistakes that people make when first getting into this area of passive income streams? Uh, they often will, like, like when we talk about real estate, right? You know, when we talk about real estate investing, the, net, the first thing that pops up in people's heads are, oh, so I need to buy a property in my backyard. And then most of the time, that's one of the worst things they can do. <laughs> and many times, uh, especially if you're in the Western half of the United States like I am, the prices are high, rents are low. And so people will say, oh, yeah, I was told. I read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I was told to get a rental property. So I went and got a rental property. And I'm like, great, that's awesome. Well, are you making any money? No, but uh, I might make 100 bucks a month maybe off this thing. Okay, well, that's not worth it. Many times I, I see like uh, entrepreneurs in California, a great example, because anytime I have a, anybody on the West Coast, California, Oregon, Washington say, I have a rental property here, my natural response is sell it. Well, you don't know the numbers. Don't have to know them. <laughs> I already know. I have this one client. He's uh, out in San Diego. He had $700,000 of equity in his rental property. It was actually his very first home he bought. He kept it. He was renting it. 700000 of equity, only profiting $200 a month. <laughs> and I told him, I said, listen, you need to sell that property. If you sell that and you take that 700000 and you put it into almost anything, you should be able to cash flow at least – 6000 to 7000 a month rather than 200 bucks a month. And he's like, oh, but my, my wife, she really loves that property because it has sentimental value. I was like, well, you know what else has more sentimental value? Six or 7000 more a month. <laughs> <laughs> you can have all the kinds of sentimental value you want, and I'm sure your wife might appreciate it if, if that's the case. And that's the kind of thing, mistakes I see people make is they just go willy-nilly, try to do it without any guidance, and, and really that guidance is essential. You want to make sure – it doesn't have to be someone like me. It could be – someone that you know that's experienced that's done this for years that can say, listen, like we can help hold your hand and guide you. Here's ways to do it that will be safer so that you don't just get a return of your money, but you get a return of like not just get a return on your money, but you get a return of your money. You get to keep it and make money with it too. 